Hi guys, welcome back. So today I am, I wanted to kind of bring you guys along on, uh, I guess like a, kind of like a make dinner with me vlog, I guess. My kids are running around and, uh, so I hope you guys can hear me well. Like I mentioned in my last video, uh, one of my last videos, I was having some problems with my mic, so still haven't got that issue figured out, so still just doing this. And um, so anyway, today I will be making, um, I'm getting dinner ready right now. It is 4.49, I'm a little late actually, but I'm getting dinner ready. I'm making man, so this literally is called man-pleasing chicken. So I have this recipe, um, if you follow me on Instagram, I have this, I've posted this recipe before, I've made it before, and it's always a big hit, my, uh, my husband, Paul loves it, the kids love it, everyone loves it, it's super easy, and it's super yummy. I make it out of chicken thighs, and so that way the, the meat does not, it doesn't dry up. And it stays anyway, juicy. So if you you could probably do this with breast, um, chicken breast as well. If you prefer white meat, we personally prefer the darker meat and um, don't really care much for for the chicken breast. It dries out so fast. You have to be super particular on it when you're cooking it. And I don't have time for that. I mean, I have a few good recipes, but anyway, this one calls for thighs. This is what we do. You can try, you can definitely try it with breast if you really want to. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, go follow me. I have in my highlights, I do have the recipe in there as well. So if you ever, boys, just share. If you want to make this recipe, you can. You can find it on my Instagram. Sorry, I'm a terrible multitasker. So I tend to get distracted. So I'm just, I had. I have chicken here that I got at Costco, thighs, they're already deboned and no skin, which is what I prefer. I also have a pack that I picked up somewhere else, I don't remember where, but I'm going to cut it up as well. So I'm going to take the bones out and take the skin off and trim the fat. So once I have all that, then we'll get started on the actual ingredients. I once felt I'm done with the defense, throw back Climb over your fence, hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders, some close stuff. That's what I told you. Soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. Not living in the past. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Riding on the dizzying heights. I felt like nothing could stop us. Sunsets, remember the colors, they were wrong, it was way more than a dream. We climbed up, you yeah, over the hillside, it's alright, we stood there all wide eyed, you and I floated on air in my mind. Cause there's no going back, no going back, there's no going back to your own life. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. So the recipe calls for um, maple syrup, and I make my own. The one at the, the one that I buy at the store, Benny. Benny. Benny, can you? I have to yell, be quiet. Um, the one that I buy at the store is not, it's not sweet enough. I don't like the flavor. So I found a recipe that I've been using for a few years. It's a uh, brown sugar butter syrup. Oh gosh. And I'm going to, so I make my own. I will include the, the recipe in the, 
in the description box below so that way you guys can give it a try and let me know what you think if you prefer the store-bought one that's totally fine I actually tried that one last time and I didn't like it I ended up making more syrup at home um, the homemade the brown sugar one and I prefer that one much more over this one so I added my uh, one cup of water, two cups of brown sugar, um, and as I, I don't know if you heard me last time because there was so much noise, but I will include the recipe below in the description box. Um, half a cup of butter. I'm using this organic butter sweet cream unsalted. You're not gonna get much off of this. Anyway. I'm gonna put this on the stove and let it simmer a little bit. Okay guys, so I actually just read the instructions because <laughs> I forgot to and I'm terrible at multitasking and I forgot that you have to heat up the sugar and the water first and then once the sugar is melted, you add the butter. So I went ahead and Pull the butter out, and I'm going to wait for the sugar to to melt. Okay, so I'm going to while I'm working on the maple syrup and the sauce, I'm going to preheat the oven, get it all ready to get warmed up. Okay, so as per instructions, I'm leaving it on high right now, waiting for it to start boiling. And then we'll add the butter once it comes to a boil. Be careful. What's inside there? Um, it's the syrup. Okay, so it's boiling now. We're gonna put it on medium. And no, four minutes. Let it boil for four minutes. Okay, so we are now going to add the butter. Don't touch. Museum of Flight? Yeah. Um, we just went. Can we go yeah. again? No. Yeah, I'm gonna go again. Uh, me and I don't really waste time. Wanna see um, more numbers? What? Can I bake with you? No, you cannot bake with me. Stop it! Okay, so while we wait for the syrup. Guys. While we wait for the syrup, we're gonna, um, I forgot, I'm gonna put the rice in to cook. So I use this rice. I don't, I buy it at Winko in the bulk section and it's called conventional rice. So I'm not really sure what it is or what it's, you know, like the details about it. Jacob, please don't touch the rice. Okay. But I really like it. It's like yellow, kind of. And it's not sticky when I cook it. I mean, I'm fine with most rices, but Paul really likes this one, so and I think we actually made a little too much here. It, uh, it tastes a little bit good, but perfecto. Perfecto. <laughs> you like it, Jacob? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wash it and then put it to. I don't have a rule for how I cook my rice. I literally just eyeball it. I had a rice cooker and it broke. It got really old and broke, so I, I gotta buy another one. But until then, I have to cook it in a pot. And I just pretty much, I wash the rice and then I fill it with water and leave about half an inch of water above the rice. And that's usually enough to, for the rice to cook and not burn and not be raw. John. Okay, so I'm gonna wash it in cold water. I've been told, I mean, I just kind of go off of what like I hear, so I heard that people wash it in cold water. 
bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna um, oh, yeah. put it on low okay so uh, let's see I have to print my instructions because I always forget uh, so we need half a cup of mustard so this is what the syrup looks like Johnny Ooh. But I think we'll be doubling the recipe. You can look, just don't touch this. Doubling the recipe for the sauce just because I did a lot more chicken than what the recipe calls for. Boys, hey, hey, what's happening? I make this. Yeah, it's a baby picture. No. What? You can see. Mm hmm. calls for just because it makes it more sour I can always adjust it so also keep in mind that just adjust the sauce per taste and if you need to make it sweeter make it sweeter if you feel like you need more mustard add more mustard there really is no rule to it just kind of it, it's what's going to flavor your chicken No, it's not okay. Because I said it's not okay. I said it's not okay. No, you cannot. Okay, so I do want to add more maple syrup. I like to make the sweet, the rice wine vinegar definitely gave it a zing. No. We're not going to go to the dollar store today anyway. No, no, Saturday? I don't know, we'll see. If we get enough money to the price. Okay, we're almost there. Here's the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do buddy. If before our dad comes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. 
So are we gonna do it if All right, so definitely you want to do very little, very little of this because it's very sour and the mustard is already more sour, has a zing to it, so very little bit of this. It's very strong. Ooh, lots of acid. Okay. And now, please don't touch this. You already turned it and messed it, for, messed it up for me. We just pour it over the chicken. Mom, can I say something? What do you, what's up? I'll put it in the farm. Huh? I'll put it in the farm. You want to put it in a farm? this later it's just from the a cleaning supplies company let me get in yes the rice is cooking right now and the oven is preheated perfect move everything hey 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 guys can you not do that please i'm going to move everything around make sure it gets coat Coat it evenly. Can I grab a picture from the office? Yes. Nothing is here. Nothing. My laundry is there. That's what's uh, there. Nothing is here. But I put I put a pile of laundry right ah, there. Can you not? They are all there. Yeah, I know. I can. Dwight said you left him behind, and now he's upset. Oh. Look like and we are going to put them in the oven. check back on it and uh, at some point turn the thighs as well so once they're cooked we'll turn them over okay so the rice is ready I went ahead and took that off the stove and the timer beeped so we're going to I always have to remind myself to open the oven slowly and keep my face out of the oven No, no, you cannot vacuum, not right now. Okay, guys, so that's today's dinner, uh, man-pleasing chicken over rice. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you guys try this recipe. Yep. I will include everything yeah. in the description below and the links to the recipes. And um, yeah, so you guys can go ahead and try it and let me know how you like it. If there's... Um, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends. I always love making new family and friends on YouTube. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.